So I'm going to show you how to set up the side hill targeting gong stand. And there's the box with everything it comes with. And then you'll need a gong or whatever target you're going to hold. And I've got two 3 8 inch bolts with washers in there. And then five 2 by 4s I've got four 6 foot lengths for the legs. And then an 8 foot one to go across the middle and... Uh, we put several gongs on there as we're shooting at them. Here in the uh, box that came with, uh, we've got two of the straps for holding the gong. The 2x4 holders. Those two. And then the And then the two strap hangers to hang it on the two by four. And we'll show you how to put it together. We'll get two of these six footers. And on here it's marked with a T, so that shows that it's the top. And if you're putting it on unlevel ground, uh, you can. Uh, the back ones you'll put in a little farther and then tighten that screw the screw down right here um, we'll sh set up on level ground first and then we'll set up on the uneven ground so you get a look at it both ways and just snug that that bolt down right there Again, make sure that T is on the top. And this one will be the piece that goes across the top to hold the gongs up. Um, you could use taller ones if you want it a little taller. Uh, we also use a skinnier board if we're just going to set up one gong at a time right here. And then once you get all that done, you pull it to where it's nice and snug that way. And then it's good enough. You could, you could sit here and do pull-ups on it if you want to. Nice and sturdy. Um, and then we got a snow bank back here, so if you're setting it up on a steep side hill. And you want your gong to be nice and straight. And we can make this extreme here. We've got three different settings. So you just loosen this up. And this one will go through here quite a ways. And then because this one's higher than that one, it will also go down quite a ways. And set it right here. 
right there. Let's see that's pretty good. And then you can see how uneven this strain is. Look at our on here. These are getting cold enough they don't want to work too good. Slide that, put a I get a nice big washer on there. So on one end it has two holes drilled, one there, one there, um, and then the other end it has four holes drilled, and so you can set it different uh, distances away from the from your two by four on top. If you're just depending if you want to get it above the sagebrush and put it a little higher, or if you like it a little lower, so you. Uh, less likely to hit the 2x4, you can do that as well. Set these on the back here, they just slide right on. And then, uh, you just hook it right through a hole, pick out whatever height you want, we'll go second one down. And now you've got a jigong stand set up on any terrain. And no matter how hard you hit that sucker, okay, it's never going to move or fall over or have any problems at all.